Well, one week from this Friday, President-elect Donald Trump will be inaugurated. For congressional leaders on both sides, there are a lot of questions about what kind of president Donald Trump will be. For Democrats who are now in the minority in both the House and Senate, those concerns are especially acute. And that includes the Minnesota delegation, which is overwhelmingly Democratic. Here's Esme Murphy with tonight's Talking Points. Democrats here and across the country were counting on working with President Hillary Clinton. And had she won, Minnesota could have counted on close ties to a Clinton administration. Both Senators Amy Klobuchar and Al Franken campaigned extensively throughout the country for Clinton. Senator Franken wrote in a recent column that while he disagrees with just about everything Donald Trump stands for, he will continue to fight to deliver for Minnesota. But under a Trump presidency and in a Republican-controlled Congress, can he or any Democrat really deliver for their constituents? Senator Franken was a guest on WCCO Sunday morning. Elaine Chao, who has been nominated to be uh, the Transportation Secretary, she's, uh, uh, she's a responsible person. And I, 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 infrastructure, I'm, I'm not worried about. That well, how, about, how about all the other issues? That like, I worry, you know, Obamacare. I worry about. And while Republicans now have a majority in the Senate, they don't have a big enough majority to override what's known as a filibuster that can block legislation. The Democrats, though, did give Trump a gift on cabinet and most other nominations. In 2013, when they controlled the Senate, they effectively removed the filibuster as an option on most presidential nominations. As May Murphy, WCCO 4 News. You can watch WCCO Sunday Morning with Esme Murphy and Mike Augustinek every Sunday at 6 a.m. and 10.30 a.m.